Hi Aries, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. So it is time again for the He Said She Said spread for the month of May. I will have an extended monthly reading um, with more messages for the month of May. You will find it down in the description box. So let's see what has been going on for you guys for the month of May. Let's see what are the messages for Aries. I do feel again some kind of nervosity coming up um so there there is some you know some shake-ups some changes that are happening probably uh in your life at, at this moment that maybe you feel a bit like an anxiety about what is about to come you can be feeling in a place of you know that place of nothingness you know what i mean like not knowing what is about to happen things like that you have the Ace of Wands in your past, so this is definitely um, talking about that um, that feeling as well, what you we were having in the month of April. Like some things are not going the way that you wanted. You can't seem to get your motivation up. You're, you can't seem to get your passion again. Um, not being able to create something that you truly wanted. It could have been someone from the past that came back for an opportunity. It was it did not go the way that you wanted to or uh, you had to reject someone because something was not getting off the ground and that could be the place that you are in like you don't know what to do right now so that could be uh, something that uh, you felt in the month of April a lack of creation a lack of uh, getting something off the ground not the, the you could have been dealing with another fire sign Sagittarius Leo or an Aries itself and yeah see you have, and but you have the seven of pentacles and the four of swords so that is good so it's like you taking a rest uh whatever that whatever this was that did not get off the ground whether it was a, like a relationship a second chance or anything um or not feeling very creative at, at that moment uh in april because april has been quite a heavy month for a lot of us uh it, it started out Quite okay but it ended up like on a very rough end i feel especially with that full moon in scorpio if you have had if you have scorpio in your chart uh try to look up where that uh w which house it hit actually and that will give you a lot of clarity about what has happened in your um you know internally and what needed to uh come to the service which could have come up to the surface in a very abrupt way like an overload of emotion or anger or resentment and things like that so try to look that up you have the four of sword and the seven of pentacles so it's like you have been trying to take a take a step back here uh from this situation whatever it is that did not get get off the ground to you know clear up your mind to uh heal yourself to rest to meditate about the situation and really try to you know think about how you would go uh at it and it comes with the seven of pentacles so it means that you've decided or you know that you have been putting in a lot of energy and effort into it but you are in a contemplation and waiting for the things to turn around and it does not always have to be um, like obsessively waiting but it's like I'm, I'm just gonna take a step back and see what uh, what is going to come out of it because you have been planting a lot of good seeds here even though you haven't seen the result yet of your harvest in the month of April uh, you do have a lot of peace of mind about anyway getting that harvest done uh, sooner or later and that's like the um, that's like the acknowledgement of the work that you have put in that gives you that peace of mind itself and didn't i uh, mention uh you, you got a fine peace of mind aries the last one N now that i'm saying it i just come up with like okay i was with with aries with that one so it seems that the, it, it is coming back around without me even noticing that so yeah the person that you are dealing with uh aries they are not capable of moving forward uh mentally as well there are a lot of issues that may have been um keeping them stuck and moving forward either too. Uh, they may have came back around, that could be the Ace of Wands, but they did not come back around with a cleared mind. And you notice that, you notice that. And they also have the Seven of Pentacles. So um, this is definitely both parties. See the Ace of Wands, so there is, 
the mirroring in the past with the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So either this person come back around uh, to get a new uh, opportunity with you, but they, as I said, they did not come back around with a clear mind. And if you don't come back with a clear mind and you bring up, you know, like in the back of your mind, you still have all the resentment, resentful feelings and thoughts that um, that are disturbing you from moving forward, but you still want that person real bad and you, you keep trying, even though you didn't clear up that clutter in your mind, it's not going to work because, you know, sometimes passion and mind is just like love and your heart and your mind can be very conflicting. Like your passion, your love, you want to be with that person, but your mind is still keeping you stuck in uh, bringing back old issues that can cause a lot of conflict. And that is what I'm seeing that has happened here. Like like whoever that was that tried to come back around, whoever that was that was trying to come back around, they did not come in the right terms where they have been, um, you know, having their own peace of mind. And there is a sense of, um, you know, maybe some kind of stagnation that has happened in the past. But both of you are definitely on the same page of contemplating about whether there is a moving forward or not. Or how or when you're going to receive um, your shipment coming in, actually. When are you going to bear the fruits of your labor? So let's see what the... Current energy for May is, please. Current energy for Aries. Current energy for Aries, please. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you may not have felt that um, that labor coming in, but as I said, in May, you will get that. The Eight of Pentacles does indicate that you are very much focused. You have focus intention. You don't let yourself get distracted by anything. You are working on manifesting a lot of things in the material realm. And you will get your manifestation here, Aries. You will get your manifestation here. And you are probably willing to work on whatever it is that needs your uh, attention. And... So we do have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles it could be upside or down. It doesn't matter because we, we have it with the Seven of Swords. For some of you, there is uh, you guys want to um, release some people from the past, uh, some belief system or, or mindsets that were keeping you stuck from having progress. For some of you, you do want to have a progress with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, for others of you, there is, um, you may not be telling a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you want to move on. For others of you, there is, um, this could also definitely be your energy since you go from the seven to the eight to the Queen of Pentacles where you're really focus on um, on only your, your finances and pentacles and you don't want to get bothered by anything and you're ready to, you know, put yourself first, nurture yourself and your environment, uh, try to do more practical stuff to get yourself grounded and you may not want to tell anyone, anyone you, you don't owe anyone an explanation, I mean, you're Aries, like who gives a fuck, right? I mean, you don't owe anyone an explanation and that's like the energy that you uh, send out as well. You only want to focus on yourself and your career, your pentacles and there's like uh, no way that someone can get in between that at this moment. And there could also be, see, whoa. Yep, wow. Okay, there is, ooh. Okay, this is uh, something. We have the tower and the queen of pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles and the Devil in the Reverse. Now we no, it was in this um, in this order. The Tower, the de Devil in the Reverse. So for some of you, this could be de definitely dealing with a Capricorn individual. Uh, most likely, I feel Capricorn could be Virgo or, or Taurus, but um, let's say let's go for uh, for Capricorn, but could be any sign, of course. And there is going to be in their life. There are a lot of things changing. Um, they could be getting rid of uh, addictions uh, or there is a sudden change of um, some kind of a dark force that 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 makes them move forward. But whatever that is, it, it is affecting a lot of people around them and they may have been in a triangle or an addictive 
behavior or mindset that is uh, putting the focus back on them again but it it, it does come with um with some kind of limitation here so that's 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 quite funny to see the queen of pentacles uh but then also the five of pentacles so there is something that is quite someone could have been lying but lying about a third party situation that came out and it could have been involving a queen of pentacles uh an earth sign to capricorn towards a virgo but there is definitely um whoever was a part of this of this tower and was feeding off um this negative and toxic energy both of them are feeling neglected and i feel that the only one that is standing strong though is still the queen of pentacles so besides the queen of pentacles there are two people that are thrown out of this tower and this queen of pentacles is is very steady um is very steady very curious what this what this is about though so this is involving at, at, at least four people that's what i see here like at least four people this could be like a whole you fill me in um and i've been saying this so many times people like aries you've been dealing with a lot of different people somehow and it shows here again two four six seven not for all of you but um for the majority of you there there are a lot of people in in the other uh area that are involved with each other and just not okay so let's see what the blockage is what's the blockage So we have the emperor here in the reverse. So you still feel maybe a lack of control over the situation. We have a queen of cups, the seven of wands and the page of wands. So in your blockage, there is definitely a overdue of emotions. Uh, someone is not opening up emotionally or being very jealous, very underhanded, very needy in their, in their, uh, in their needs. And that is blocking you from having progress. There is also someone that is not very someone is not capable of holding their emotions and, and, and it's like scattered every time it's like they can't uh they're, they're not on the winning end at all whoever this person is this could be a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio but this is someone this i don't know who this is this could be you because it is in your blockage since you do also have the emperor so you may feel emotionally neglected or for a person to not fight for you is keeping you a bit um like I feel that maybe you, some of you do want to see this person fight for you and uh, fight against the people around them to stand up for you. Like you are, you know, you, your Aries, you, you do stand up for people and you probably are expecting that to do, like this person to do that as well and not listen to the people around them. Um, and it's funny because I said this same thing to, I don't know, it was Leo, I'm not sure, but... It was the same kind of uh, energy. So for some of you who have been dealing with that, you can cross watch uh, to see if that's also the case. But um, we do have also the page of wands here. So there is someone is, and I almost feel that this person you have been dealing with is trying to speak with someone else and, and they're, they're willing to go into a different direction and you feel neglected, uh, your emotions, feel neglected for that person to um to start up a new life just like that and that could be one of the reasons that you feel that this person has been very shady because there is a seven of swords here still that has been trying to sneak away with the with a queen of pentacles that could be it does not have to be a fem female, of course, it could be male or female, but it is someone that is very much focused on um, on this relationship, on, the, on, on, on 
having this relationship with this individual and you could have came across that so let's see what else is gonna go here so we have the five of cups reverse the ace of pentacles reverse and the hanged man upright in their blockage so what's blocking this person that you are dealing with is definitely some sorrow from the past they're trying to get over a past issue that that they have been putting in a lot of emotional uh, nurturing in and they're not getting something of the ground like a commitment of the ground um, for some of you it could have been even a miscarriage or something that has happened that they're trying to get over that's like another thing and the hangman here is saying that they are not even though they have lost some kind of control in a situation um and 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 things are changing around them they are still in a mindset to to keep things a bit stuck and not seeing things from a different perspective so they do not want to see something from your perspective uh, most definitely here and that is what's 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 bringing up a lot of anger issues or you know you feel you feel powerless in trying to get this person see something or get through to this person and or you're trying to make sure that this person understands that this queen of pentacles has been very shady uh but but that's not how they see it that's not how they see it and they could have been losing money over the situation maybe they were gambling i feel that there is a gambling going on maybe someone uh found out that someone is a heavy gambler and addicted to gambling and is money addicted but in a way that they don't really i don't know maybe in a way to get their own finances on track they are focused on getting that on track but it's not working this could be like for some of you of course um no i'm not ready for this yet let's see what is the hopes You did have the King of Swords there, so you would like someone to speak the truth and um, be strong as well to overcome whatever this is that they are going through, whatever that is an addiction to anything, because uh, there is definitely an addiction here. Okay, so for some of you, I have a lot of people here though. Again, I feel that this is for... For example, if you're dealing with a Cancer and you want that person out, if you're dealing with a Virgo, you want that person in uh, or a Taurus to come in and a uh, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius to get out um, for, for those of you dealing with those people. For others of you, uh, you, are, you are hoping for someone to do the right thing, to learn their lessons and get the clarity that what they're doing is being very destructive uh, for them as well, for their own uh, safety, for their own highest good as well. It's like maybe whatever they're doing is like, it, it, it's, it's, it's health-wise is also not very good and you're very aware of that, but you can't seem to get through to that person. So it could be alcohol addiction, money addiction, like uh, something that has to do with, uh, with, with with those subjects there. And you are hoping to avoid any conflict, but you are, you are keeping them, you know, you're keeping an eye on them and in a way as if you are, you know, you, you know that you have a good intention towards them and you don't want to stir up anything, but you do have, you want to keep a mind, you, you want to keep an eye on it without causing more conflict because you feel that it's it's like against um against the flow for them like if you would cause conflict they would just like okay do do whatever you say not to do and you are completely aware of that you have that clarity that you need to show the right um example at this uh, at this uh situation that's that's very good aries you really come across like okay if I want to uh, have the best example, then I need to do the best way that I can and show this person that you are the example and not go against them by, okay, you think that that's bad? Okay, I'm going to do the same and see if, how you like it. No, that's not that's not like how the Hierophant would uh, react here. So, yeah, you're, you're hoping that someone would um, also probably with that Hermit card here to... 
shed a light on what is going on and why their life has been so destructive so because someone's life is very destructive and i don't feel that it's your life because you want to have a peace of mind here as i said so you want this person to shed a light on why they are their life is destructive without saying that without saying that you know what i mean you just want them to see them themselves and not um and not not point it out so you're doing it in a very, very good way, uh, is what I'm seeing here. It, it's like as if you do realize that this person does need help or guidance or, you know, some healing. And you just want them to see why their life has been destructive. So let's see. Uh, what is the hopes for the person that you are dealing with? What are the hopes, intentions? Yeah, they feel stuck too. They want to get out of this, see? They do feel stuck as well. This is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So they um, they have an understanding that whatever they are doing, it's like their, their addiction, whatever that addiction is for them, it could be like overanalyzing. They have an understanding of uh, overanalyzing. It could be addiction of any kind and they understand it. It could be addiction to money and they understand that and they do hope as well for the knight of cups in the reverse so they're not ready to um to get into romantic relationships right now or to to be giving you any offer because they're not in a state of mind to do that uh like like this person needs self-love before they can give love right you can't expect this person to give you uh what you want at this moment um because they need they need to make a decision how to get themselves out of whatever they have put themselves in and the three of swords does indicate that they are hoping for <sighs> this is tricky this, because i don't it's like they, they feel that they are destructive in a way but they don't um feel the necessity to uh, do something about it because they have the three of swords with the with the knight of cups in the reverse so if this is for some that are dealing with a air sign with water in their chart don't trust them it's 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 like um air with water if you're dealing with that mm -mm. especially if it's a cancerian with i don't know um air in the chart don't don't even go there like don't even go to that direction because they're hoping to um hurt anyone because they have been hurt in the past it's like that kind of riddle you know like i've been hurt and dumped and i'm gonna do the same thing to everyone that crosses my path i'm just gonna hurt you that's like the energy so if you're dealing with someone that is water with with air they are very destructive at this moment so don't uh, come near to them right now, Aries. Let's see. What is the fears? And I'm sorry, cars don't lie. So I don't care if you're a cross watcher and you're like, no, they're the manipulative one. Well, okay, then explain me. What is the fears for Aries? The awakening. So it was... It does not matter if uh, reverse or not. Who cares? It's still the fact that you are afraid that someone uh, is not going to see that they're missing an opportunity with you. And uh, because of their depression, because of the slumber that they are in, and they're not seeing the truth. That's what we just talked about. You fear that this person is lacking the ability to see things or to have the self-examination and to awaken to what the whatever they are doing in 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 this destructive uh, situation, and they are fearing to look at this, the page of cups in the reverse. This this person is definitely not ready to open up emotionally. They have a fear of opening up. Uh, it's it's like ten of swords here as well. And as I was saying, this this individual, whoever this is, this could be like two separate people, like um, apply it to whoever it is. Um, 
also for the cross watcher apply which part is you because i feel that there are two different people here could be one uh, individual that has pi bipolar but the, don't think so anyway the ten of swords and the ten of wands and the page of cups this person is definitely as i was saying afraid of getting hurt again because they have been dumped and hurt and um been betrayed in the past and they that's why they need they need they need to fix themselves and they may be trying to again uh go into you know drinking and trying to suppress their emotions and but it's getting they know as i was saying here as well they know that what they're doing is very it, 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 it's not going to end good if they keep on continuing this because they feel that heavy burden and it's getting more and more and more and the more they drink and the more heavier they get things like that it does not have to be drinking of course but i do feel for the majority of you it is um even though they have the devil in the reverse it's still the energy that is there and there are two dark energies here so the devil in the reverse can simply mean that they come into the realization like this abrupt awakening like okay what i'm doing is wrong and there is an addiction that i'm having and that could be the light bulb itself but that does never mean that that person could um stop caring about about that addiction because they are still very much focused on it it's like but they're almost there though because they if they continue like this uh this could be a younger water sign capricorn of uh, uh, pisces cancer or scorpio this could be even a child someone that has a very childish way of doing things it could be your, your children that are uh you know very much addicted it's not gonna you know they're gonna have to realize that it's not going well you have the nine of cups with the page of swords in outside influence uh area so the nine of cups uh, and the page of swords someone is if you're not uh, communicating with this individual they're hoping and wishing for you to communicate to you know slam the door and just speak the truth um about a situation they're hoping for you to uh have your attention span still on them so that's like something that gives them a lot of fulfillment and but be careful because this person is not someone that would uh that that, that would be spying on you but they would not express their emotions they're very uh you know they're keeping it to themselves uh in order to remain their own balance when it comes to their emotions and to remain their stability in in their own emotions and they this definitely could be drinking there could be definitely someone spying or seeing something about someone um breaking an out or not breaking a promise about a drinking there there are a lot of things that is going on here and other thing is this and I said this with the Knight of Swords here as well, with the in the reverse. Someone is not speaking, and someone is trying to stir up something, and trying to figure out what it is that you want from this relationship. So let's see what is the outside influence for the person that Aries is dealing with. Yeah, see, Eight of Wands. There is no communication. Then this person wants you to communicate. Like they are, they could be even obsessively communicate, like wanting that. Like, like please talk to me. Like begging. Definitely, like that. For some of you, that is definitely the case, Aries. Um, but they need to see their own mistakes first. So, you know. This is the Eight of Wands and the Judgment in the Reverse. Someone is not granting a second chance when it comes to opening up communication. So be mindful of that. It is their outside influence. So I'm, I must, you know, I feel that that's definitely you, Aries, that is, um, that does not want to give someone a second chance because you feel that there's a lack of, uh, there's a poor judgment and a poor, uh, self-evaluation and it could be vice versa of course i mean this could also definitely indicate that th th there is this vice versa going on but that counts for everyone i mean this is this is these are just general spreads so uh there is definitely a lack of um self-examination going on and both of you wanting to see something from one another 
So if that, that is also, that is the mirroring. If you feel that someone is wrong and they need to see something about their, about themselves, well, they feel the same way about you, about some behavior. And then there is this, this pull and push and this, um, you know, being very stubborn in not seeing your own issue. Just as much as you know that this person is not seeing their own issue, they feel that you're stubborn and not seeing your own issue. So that's just basically the case. And you have the nine, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. And this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as I was saying here, that is um, exerting power over them emotionally. Uh, emotional manipulation could be going on. Or this could be someone else that is not that you think that is emotionally manipulating them, but they are actually trying to help and care for them. So so there is this um, something going on where you may feel that, that person is emotionally manipulating them while they are having care towards them. And if that care could be, you know, um, giving them the drinks that they need, that could be like something that you are against, but this person does it because they don't want to see them more disruptive. So that could be also the case. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. That is someone not um, committing to something. Someone not being stable. And they could be trying to care emotionally for them. Even though there is no stability or they're not. Someone is codependent. Let's it's codependent on someone's uh, affection here that's what i'm seeing so what whether that's you or someone else so i'm going to continue this reading the link will be down in the description box and there will be the monthly for the may with some more uh, messages coming through for you guys thank you and bye